Detective with the Austin Police Department Homicide Unit. First, I would like to thank you all for coming this afternoon. I'm the lead investigator for the homicide investigation of Francisco Josue Miranda, who was 21 years old when he was murdered in early January this year. This is being investigated under case number 24008-1191. With me today is Francisco's family, and although they are very courageous to stand up here as we search for answers, and for those responsible for Francisco's death, they will not be taking any questions during this conference. We thank you for understanding this request. On January 8, 2024, at approximately 7.46 p.m., Austin Police Department officers responded to several emergency phone calls in which 911 callers reported that there was a shooting and a young man, later identified as Francisco Josue Miranda, was lying on the ground, injured in the middle of Avalon Apartment Complex, which is located at 9300 Northgate Boulevard in North Austin. When officers arrived on scene, they located a crowd of people surrounding Francisco in the courtyard of the apartment. Travis County EMS arrived on scene and transported Francisco to the hospital where he later unfortunately was pronounced deceased at 8.22 p.m. During the on-scene investigation, it was determined that Francisco had been shot and several suspects immediately left the scene on foot. This investigation has been ongoing and no arrests have been made yet. Today, APD's homicide unit is requesting the community's assistance in providing any information regarding Francisco's murder. This information could pertain to anything that may have occurred during, before, or information learned after the time of the murder. Anyone with information should contact APD's Homicide Unit at 512-974-TIPS. You can submit your tip anonymously through the Capital Area Crime Stoppers Program by visiting austincrimestoppers.org or calling 512-472-8477. A reward of up to $1,000 may be available for any information that leads to an arrest. Thank you for your help as we work to bring justice for Francisco's family. Detective Gillian will translate a summary of this in Spanish. And although this is an ongoing investigation, we will take some questions after Detective Gillian. Me llamo Detective Guillén, de la Policía de Austin, y él se llama Nicholas Gepard, y el detective de la Unidad de Homicidios del Departamento de Policía de Austin. En primer lugar, me gustaría darles gracias por venir esta tarde. Soy el detective encargado de la investigación de homicidio de Francisco Josué Miranda, que tenía 21 años cuando fue asesinado a principios de enero de este año. Este caso se investiga con el número 24-00-81191. Hoy nos acompañan la familia de Josué y aunque son muy valientes al estar aquí mientras buscamos respuestas y los responsables de la muerte de Francisco. No responderán a ninguna pregunta durante esta conferencia. Les agradecemos a todos por entender su petición. El 8 de enero de 2024, aproximadamente a las 7.46 de la noche, los oficiales del Departamento de Policía de Austin respondieron a varias llamadas de emergencia en las que las personas que llamaron reportaron que había un balacera y que un joven más tarde identificado como Francisco Josué Miranda se encontraba en el suelo híbrido y medio del complejo de apartamentos Avalon, ubicado en 9300 Northgate Boulevard, al norte de Austin. 
Cuando los oficiales llegaron al lugar, localizaron un grupo de personas rodeando Francisco en el patio del complejo de apartamentos. El servicio de emergencias médicas del condado de Travis llegó al lugar y llevó a Francisco al hospital, donde fue declarado muerto a las 8.22 de la noche. Durante la investigación en el lugar del incidente, se determinó que Francisco había recibido un disparo y varios sospechosos se fueron del lugar a pie. La investigación sigue su curso y no se han hecho arrestos. Hoy, la unidad de homicidios del Departamento de Policía de Austin solicita ayuda de la comunidad para proporcionar cualquier información relacionada con la muerte de Francisco. Esta información podría ser cualquier cosa que haya pasado antes, durante o después del incidente. Cualquier persona que tenga información debe ponerse con contacto con la unidad de homicidios de APD llamando al 512-974-8477. Puede enviar pistas de forma anónima a través de Crime Stoppers de la capital llamando el 512-472-8477. Puede ofrecer una recompensa de hasta mil dólares por cualquier información que conduzca a una detención. Puede hacer su reporte en el español. Otra vez, gracias por su apoyo mientras trabajamos para hacer justicia a la familia de Francisco. Aunque se trata de una investigación en curso, podemos tomar algunas preguntas. I'll take any questions if you have some. Um, you said there's several suspects that aren't off. Are you looking for more than one person in this case? Yeah, witnesses have told us that there could be more than one individual involved. And uh, any more specific than that is uh, going to be have to uh, not be talked about due to the ongoing part of the case. Uh, has anybody has anyone been identified yet, or not yet? Uh, I can't go on into specifics at the time with that. Okay. And um, in that neighborhood uh, where he was found, did he live there? He did. Yes, he he's resided there with his family for several years. They've been productive members of the community. Uh, Francisco himself uh, liked playing soccer there a lot. Do you believe this is random? I do re believe this is a random act of violence. Uh, Francisco was a good kid. After uh, digging into his life, um, I can't find anything uh, nefarious that would have brought this on this individual. Is there anything else you can um, um, say to the crime that maybe people who are in the area can look out for? Um, unfortunately, this area has been uh, a victim of a lot of robberies and shootings lately. And uh, what I really want to tell people is uh, our best way to solve these crimes and make the area safer is through community engagement. Um, we've been able to solve lots of crimes just by having one-on-one -on -one conversations with community members, and hopefully that can happen today. Is this the time where you've been speaking with community groups and you'll speak to the importance of people coming out and calling you guys to make sure if they have any information, you know, to do so immediately? Absolutely. Uh, the sooner we can talk with people, uh, the quicker we can uh, find who did this and uh, we can stop them from doing this again because we don't want to see this happen to any other families again. And is there any leads right now at all? I know it's going to be January and we're already close to closing into March. Is there anything else you can add to that? Uh, there's no, no, sp no more specifics I can add just to protect the integrity of the case. We'll take two more questions. Thank you.
Bradley Pree here in the KXAN live studio. As we show you that live shot uh, going down there, uh, you could see some of the uh, homicide victim's family members carrying a photo of him outside of the room there, uh, accompanied by that homicide detective who just shared some information about this particular homicide case. The victim is being showed right there. His name is uh, Francisco Miranda, and uh, he was shot and killed at an apartment complex parking lot in North Austin back on January 8th. And now police are saying they need the community's help to be able to solve this case and bring justice and perhaps some, even some closure to this family uh, that you saw briefly there just a few moments ago. The location of that as we take this live shot in full shows that it was at 9300 Northgate Boulevard. That's the Avalon Palms apartment complex. Some more details that we want to show you really quickly. Uh, Francisco Miranda, a 21-year-old, was the one who was shot and killed back on January 8th. The homicide again happened at the Avalon Palms apartment complex located at 9300 Northgate Boulevard. If you have any information, police are asking you to contact them. The department's homicide unit tip line is 512-974-TIPS. You can also leave uh, any kind of information anonymously at Capital Area Crime Stoppers. The number there, 512-472-8477. A reward of up to $1,000 is available for someone who can help share some information that leads to an arrest in this homicide case. Once again, I'm Will Dupree in the KXAN Live Studio. More information about this case and the investigation are available on our website, kxan.com, and on the KXAN News mobile app, so please download that and keep that handy and contact the police if you have any information to share. We appreciate you watching here this afternoon. We'll see you back here at another time with other updates. Hope you all stay safe and healthy out there. Take care.